So we're going to continue on and talk about cameras. Uh, one of the unique things about the ATM is that it handles uh, multiple formats, uh, basically SDI or HDMI in the camera situation. And how you would handle uh, setting that up is through the little preference bar here located on the bottom left of the screen. You would, uh, well, first set your project. Now, one of the things that hasn't changed in the ATM software, and we'll talk about this for a second, is that all your inputs, meaning your HDMI or SDI or combination of both, have to be at the same frame size, frame rate. Again, the software has defaulted to 720p, but most people are gonna be interested in working in 1080, and our 1080 options are 1080-50 or 1080i 59.94, uh, which is pretty, you know, pretty much a 60. So you're saying, well, I'm at 60, I'm not 59.94. Well, that's been really not an issue for most of the time for us. Again, individual cameras may vary, but any default uh, broadcast camera or a major brand camera uh, generally conforms to the 59.94, not a problem. Of course, you have some other options. Um, looks like a form of SD is now supported, and of course, PAL, and then uh, 16 by nine. So we haven't tested those formats. Um, that'd be interesting to talk about at a later time. Uh, we had issues with SD in the past, but uh, for most of our projects, we're at 1080, uh, 1080 uh, 5994. But you're saying, hey, I'm a P guy. I'd shoot everything in P. Well, the good news is you have 720 as an option, but if you're gonna encode out to the internet, which will be covered in the subsequent video, we have tricks to get out to P, and we'll talk about that later. So we're gonna choose that as our format. You hit set. Yes, we wanna change our video standard. And then the next thing would be to uh, change our input labels. Um, default input one is HDMI. As you can see, it defaulted to that. Default input two is HDMI two. Here's where it gets interesting. Uh, three and four can be either SDI or HDMI. Uh, the maximum supported HDMI cameras is four in this unit. Obviously, you can uh, uh, change that right here. And again, this choice is HDMI. And at this default, we would have a total of four HDMI inputs and two SDI inputs. Hit save. And if we go back, take a look at that, that would should indeed be our situation. We could name this something different. We could call this, for example, uh, CAM3. And one of the nice things about uh, the ATM and Max is that it handles the HDMI out of the Mac natively at 1080, uh, 60 uh, interlaced. So we can make uh, input four, for example, a Mac for overlay. So we're gonna call it Mac overlay in this case. And there we go. So as you can see, we have basically set up our cameras. Uh, one other situation we can take a look at is our multi-view. Um, excuse me, our multi-view. And multi-view has some options, layout options. Um, you can basically assign where you want your multi-view to work. We have lots of options for multi-view, which is really nice. And you can customize this for whatever you need. And remember, multi-view uh, comes out of this unit, both SDI and HDMI, as do most of the other units. So you have lots of options to direct your multi-views using the multi-view generator. In other words, we have a client who called the other day and says, hey, I want multiple people to see my multi-view. I want my uh, producer to see it. I want my director to see it. I want the guys on set to see it. No problem. Take one of those outputs, split it up, and there you go. So that is basically the setup uh, to get your cameras working on the ATM software, as well as we've discussed briefly the input labels. One last thing on the input labels to know is that the difference will be on each switch or how many inputs you have, for example. As you can see in the software, it supports up to 20. That would be obviously the ATM uh, 2 series, of course, the ATM TV Studio Max inputs are six. So that covers that part of it. We're now going to talk about some other features here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more content.